Today in the studio, we have something from GameSir. It's their X2 mobile gaming controller. Rumor has it, this thing turns your mobile phone into a Nintendo Switch. Now, how much truth is there to that? We're gonna answer that question and a lot more, so stick around. I'm gonna open up this package and show you exactly what you're getting inside as well as how the hardware works and will it work with your phone. But most importantly, how well does it work with games from the App Store, from cloud gaming, the Nintendo Switch, as well as classic Nintendo consoles such as the GameCube. The X2 controller costs $70 US. In comparison, a Switch Lite costs $200 US. Now, if you're getting this controller, you want to be able to do a lot more than just play Nintendo Switch games. This is the box it comes in. You open it up and packaged nicely inside are some printed material. There's some stickers as well as a user manual. And right here is the actual controller. Pretty good build quality. It feels quite sturdy. Ergonomically, it sort of feels nice. I think it has a good size to it. Some nice grip on it as well. The button layout is of course exactly the same as a Nintendo Switch. The controller is adjustable so you can fit phones of all different sizes on this. Just make sure your phone has a USB-C charging port as well as its Android 9.0 or above. In fact, you might even be able to fit small tablets into this thing. Keep in mind you do need an Android phone. This thing won't work with an Apple iPhone. Soon as you touch your phone, you're ready to go. It's plug and play and it starts working immediately. The controller does power itself from your phone so it'll drain a bit of battery. Now keep in mind, you can charge it. There's a port here so you can charge as you play. The most important thing with any gaming device are the games. And in my case, I tried a few Android games from the Play Store. First, a couple of games that are also available on the Nintendo Switch. And of course, I went with Fortnite and Asphalt. With Fortnite, the controller worked flawlessly. It's just plug and play. All the controls revert to match the Nintendo Switch controls. And since it's a wired controller, the response time is immediate. Now here, I'm using a fairly old Android phone. It's a Galaxy A8. Unfortunately, that's the newest Android phone I have on hand. The controller was fine, but but the phone, I mean, yeah, I could have used a better phone here. Asphalt has the same story. It works really well with that game. The same as if you're going to play this on the Nintendo Switch. It actually felt like I was just playing on my Nintendo Switch. Now, the next two set of games I'm going to try are not cross-platform. They're not available on the Switch. And that's PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile. For both of these games, I couldn't really get the controller to work. For Player Unknown's Battleground, the right stick worked, but that's about it. For Call of Duty Mobile, I couldn't do anything other than take screenshots. Now, I'm sure there's a method of making this thing work, but it's definitely not plug and play. If you do figure out what I'm doing wrong here, maybe let me know in the comments. GameSir also claims the controller works with cloud gaming platforms. I did try it on Google Stadia and it worked really well. The two games I tried were Destiny 2 as well as Player Unknown's Battleground. And for both of those games, the controller works really, really well. Also, Microsoft has xCloud, although I didn't try it on that, it should work. I mean, there I don't see a reason why it won't work on that. I mean, if you're going to play cloud games on your mobile device, the best way of playing it is a controller like this game, sir, that's attached to your phone. There's also other options. I think the big one right now Microsoft pushing for is one from Razer. That Razer controller also costs the same as this game, sir. So $79.99 US. The big selling point of the GameStar though is its Nintendo Switch emulator. When you buy this controller, you're essentially paying for the emulator as well. And that's essentially what you're all here for. You wanna find out whether this thing can play Nintendo Switch games. Now keep in mind, I don't promote piracy. I recommend you purchase the original product, but of course when GameStar waves this shiny product in front of me and says it turns your phone into a Switch, I really had to check it out. But this is all it is, me just checking it out. 
To play Switch games, you need to download their emulator, install it, and then you have to find and download games onto your phone. At this time, most of the AAA titles like Animal Crossing or Zelda Breath of the Wild don't work. In fact, the biggest title that is supported right now is Pokemon Let's Go, but I'm sure they'll continue to add titles in the future. Now one thing you have to remember is I only have this lousy Galaxy A8 to try this out, and in this case I couldn't get any of the games to work. Even the less demanding games like Cuphead or Hollow Knight just wouldn't run. I mean my phone just isn't powerful enough. You can see here's the RAM maxed out, it's saying 0 frames per second, and I got as far as loading the Nintendo switch screen so yeah to run this efficiently you do need the top of the line phone you need maybe like a galaxy s20 or a note 10 all right so my cheap ass phone's not powerful enough to run switch games so i downloaded another emulator from the play store for gamecube and nintendo wii games for the GameCube, I loaded up Mario Sunshine and had it up and running. It loaded up fine, the X2 controller works well here, but once again, my cheap A8 isn't powerful enough for GameCube games. And you can see here at the frame rates I'm getting, the game's essentially not playable. Now before I even went to the Nintendo Wii, I knew it wasn't gonna work, but of course I did try it out. And again, same story, here's Mario Kart Wii, the controls work well, I just don't have a phone that's powerful enough. And then I also tried Super Mario Galaxy, which I just couldn't get past this connect nunchuck screen. So the conclusion here, the X2 controller, it works well, it's a really good way of playing games on your phone. In fact, I think it's the best way to control games on your phone. But of course, unless you're doing cloud gaming, just make sure you have a phone that's powerful enough to run the games. I hope that was helpful and allows you to make an informed decision if you're thinking of buying this X2 controller. And if you do decide to get it, there is a link in the description below. Until next time, take care guys. Oh, and I almost forgot, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.